These are some frequently asked questions about California legislative floor actions. So first, can legislators in either house odd, add on or change their votes on bills? The assembly allows its members to add or change votes after the vote has been announced so long as the final vote outcome or the result is not changed. The Senate does not allow this except for the president pro tempore and the Republican leader so long as the final outcome of the bill is not changed. Look at Senate Rule 44. Are all bills without opposition placed on the consent calendar? There are different rules between the Senate and the Assembly regarding what is a measure for the consent calendar on their respective floors. For example, under Senate Rule 28.3a, if a Senate bill or Assembly bill is amended in the Senate to create a new bill or to rewrite a bill, a standing committee may not place that bill on its consent calendar. Are pass on file and pass and retain the same procedurally? An author may choose to pass on file, thus temporarily giving up his or her opportunity to take up a measure on the floor. In the assembly, pass and retain prevents the author from taking up his or her bill for that legislative day. The Senate does not recognize a difference between the two. Do both houses of floor analyses always list supporters and opponents? The floor analysis lists uh, support and opposition positions, but the assembly does not list any positions of groups on their floor analyses. Are parliamentary inquiries and port, uh, points of personal privilege the same? No. Nope. A parliamentary inquiry is a procedural question posed by a legislator during a committee hearing or floor session to the presiding officer. On the other hand, a point of privilege, a uh, personal privilege, is an assertion by a member that his or her rights, reputation, or conduct have been impugned, entitling the member to repudiate that allegation. Are the three constitutionally required readings of the bill the same? Each bill must be read three times in each house before final passage. First reading occurs upon introduction of the bill in the house. The second reading occurs after a bill has been reported to the floor from committee with or without amendments. And the third reading occurs when the measure is about to be taken up on the floor of either house for final consideration and vote. Can the lieutenant governor break a tie vote in either house? The lieutenant governor is the president of the Senate, which is primarily a ceremonial rule, except in the case of a tie vote 20 to 20. The lieutenant governor can break such a tie, but in the assembly, a motion or a bill fails if there's a tie vote. Do bills taken off in active file in either house immediately return to the third reading file? Bills taken off the Senate inactive are returned to the second reading file. In the Assembly, however, bills previously on third reading that are moved to the inactive file are subject to a one day, uh, one calendar day notice when removed and then returned to the third reading file. What happens when a measure is on third reading? The third reading of a bill takes place when the bill is about to be taken up for consideration, that is, for presentation, debate, and a vote on either the assembly floor or the Senate floor. A third reading analysis is prepared for bills eligible for consideration on either the assembly or Senate floors. What is the purpose of the unfinished business file? Both the assembly daily file as well as the Senate daily file contain a portion titled unfinished business, which is the section that contains measures that have returned to their house of origin from the other house. It's also contained uh, where bills that have been vetoed by the governor are placed. What is the inactive file used for? There's a section of both the assembly daily file and Senate daily file used for bills that made it to the floor of either house. But for whatever reason, the bill's author does not want to proceed with the measure at that time and therefore moves the measure to the inactive file. What is the role of the floor manager? When the bill's author presents his or her bill on the floor of the House of Origin, for example, an assembly bill presented on the assembly floor by the assembly member who's the author, but that is not the case in the other house. A member of the other house is designated by the bill's author so that when the bill is considered by the other house, the floor manager, the designated individual, takes up the bill. Now, in years past, this member was often referred to as the floor jockey, but that term is no longer used. And finally, what's the purpose of a wharf? 
Under both the Senate and Assembly rules, bills that are not listed in the daily file can only be taken up with either unanimous consent of the members or by suspending the rules. A bill that's not listed on the daily file but is taken up nonetheless is referred to as a wharf. And the process of taking up a wharf bill is to take the measure up without reference to file. They're referring to the daily file, of course. That's where you get the acronym WARF. And in order to do so, a vote of a majority of the House's members, 41 in the Assembly and 21 in the Senate, is required to take up a bill without reference to file.